Hey, brothers and sisters, Doc Not here. I just want to do another video. I want to tell you guys a little story uh, about the day I met my, my wife, one of the greatest days of my life. All right, so it's like um, 1986. Uh, it's summertime. I'm a lifeguard at a beach. Um, no, I'm a lifeguard at a pool. <laughs> and uh, the, it, this pool happens to sit right in the, it's on uh, Route 66 in San Bernardino. Uh, or no, in yeah, in San Bernardino. And um, it sits right on the edge between the the Bloods and the Crips uh, territories, right? And uh, so I'm going into work one day in the morning. And when I get there, there's yellow tape around the whole pool. And there's uh, police all over the place. And I don't know what's going on. So I go over and I ask, hey, you know, what's going on here? I work here. And they said, oh, well, you don't work here today. Uh, pool's closed. And I was like, okay, what's what happened? There's a, there's a dead body in the pool. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Um, apparently someone was shot or something. I don't really know what happened, but uh, they died and they were dead in the pool. So I didn't have to work that day, uh, get the day off. And uh, my buddy, Kendall, a uh, big guy, um, he's... Uh, He's like, hey, man, let's go to the beach. There's a there's a um, OP Pro surfing contest going on in Huntington. I was like, yeah, that sounds badass. Let's go. So, you know, uh, we get in his car and uh, we head on down to Huntington Beach. Well, we get there. The beach is packed. I mean, packed. It's just wall to wall people everywhere. And um when we get out on the beach, I noticed that there's uh, a lot of screaming and yelling going on. I don't know what's happening. So we start walking towards the um, the fire station over there. And uh, I saw, um, I, I, you could hear everybody and they're yelling, anarchy, anarchy, anarchy. It's like, what the heck? And um, and there's a fire at the fire station. And, and they had rolled um, a couple of the little... Um, ATCs out there that the that the firemen ride on to go around the beaches and stuff. They rolled them and lit them on fire and and they were screaming and yelling and um and they actually rolled a fire truck if you can believe that they rolled a fire truck and uh, they had set a bunch of stuff on fire. People are fighting and uh, and all kinds of stuff. Man, bottles were flying through the air, uh, filled with sand or whatever. I don't know. They're just. They're, I'm talking to this guy. And he's standing right in front of me. All of a sudden, bam, he got hit in the back of the head with a bottle and went straight down. I looked over at my buddy, uh, Kendall, and I said, it's time. And we took off. We were out of there. Uh, so, you know, head of home um, and on the way home, we're like, yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to a concert tonight. Oingo Boingo is playing at the Orange Pavilion. So I was like, yeah, let's go. He, so he's going to go with me. My brother Isaac went with me and uh, we went to Oingo Boingo. Well, I went to Oingo Boingo. I was wearing... Uh, flow hose type of sand uh, flip flop from back then, back in the eighties. Uh, I was wearing my flow hose shorts, uh, a, uh, what is it called? Like a um, orange uh, tank top and, and a straw hat. And I lost my hat. I lost my shirt. I lost my shoes. I got burned by cigarette butts from people. Um, I got, uh, there was, it, it was crazy. There was a guy there with razor blades on the inside of his jacket and you could see the blood dripping down onto his legs. Like, what the heck is that all about? I have no idea. Uh, it was, it was a crazy madhouse. I mean, the entire day was, and then I saw her and she, boy, she was gorgeous. So she, so here, here she is. I'm, I look over towards, you know, I'm in the pit and I'm slamming it you know, having a good old time washing in the pit. Um, and I look over and there's this girl on this guy's uh, shoulders and she's watching the, the show. She turns around and she looks at me and I was like, Oh, okay. And anyway, I, I ignored that and I kept went back into the pit and I'm slamming and having a good time. Then I look over again and she's looking at me again. I'm like, okay, well, we're going to have trouble tonight. I think um, a few minutes later, I get a tap on my shoulder and uh, she says, Hey, can I get up on your shoulders and watch the show? I'm like, yeah, you can. So she got up on my shoulders and I went straight up to the front of the, um, to the show, right at the front row. And, and we watched the show from there on. Um, and she, yeah, she, I told her my name was Jafe. Uh, she thought I was Australian and that my name was actually Jeff. <laughs> anyway, we went out to her car and, uh, and her, and her cousin was with her and, and one of her friends and, and they had some, um, uh, beer in their trunk, but it was hot. So I took a taste. And I was like, Oh, I can't drink that. So anyway, that was the night. One of the best 
nights of my life. Actually had a bl- uh, had a blast. Um, started the day off with a death. <laughs> Went to a riot. Had a great concert. One of the best concerts I ever been to. And then met the uh, the love of my life. So there you go. Good day, you guys. Have a good one. See you on the next one. Bye.